Masterpieces are outstanding creations worthy of a place in history. They are the works of art we can't stop thinking and talking about. Art's meant to make a difference. These are pieces that continue to do so long after the artist is gone. I'm Lady K Flo. This is where I give you my quick takes on art pieces I call the masters. Government Bureau by George Tooker. The Metropolitan Museum of Art describes George Tooker's Government Bureau as dark and pessimistic, but I call it creepy. The painting combines a stark reality with an eerie existentialism. This makes it an artwork with strong emotions as well as deep thoughts. Neither pulls us into the painting, though. This masterpiece pushes us away a bit. It reminds us of humanity at its most boring. Yet, it's fascinating as well. There's a push and a pull at work here. That is the George Tooker special sauce. He takes us to a familiar yet whole new place in Government Bureau. If you've ever been to the DMV, Tooker's setting may remind you of that visit. He gives the painting a drab, anonymous vibe with replicated figure and setting details. The people in line dress the same. Cubicles are each punctuated with a duplicate porthole. Sickly, sad, and exhausted faces stare out of circles cut into cloudy glass panes. The faces are the same, except Tooker gives them to us in pairs. There are two side eyes and two frontal face views. These pairs are exact duplicates. We know that thanks to their hands. The side eyed figures turn to type into a keypad on our left, while the front facing duo turn to our right and finger identical keypads. Tooker also gives us pairs in his figures waiting in line. The men wear identical shapeless tan coats. Two sets of paired women have matching, formless outfits and heads. These figures lack character or even identities. They could be cardboard cutouts or sci-fi clones. Government Bureau shows a banal, functional world. The figures exist only in terms of what they are doing. Clerks type and clients wait. There's nothing more to their existence. This existential state of being and nothingness tells us the meaning behind this masterpiece. We know irony is at work when an intended meaning registers as the opposite. That's why Government Bureau fits into Alanis Morissette's song, Isn't It Ironic, much better than rain on your wedding day. The painting fits that technical definition because it's an existential painting. Existentialism points to human life as a meaningless experience. We get that bleak feeling from the figures standing in line like bored and ignored drones. The painting captures this moment in time. But it also points to a drudgery in reality that we all have to face. George Tooker paints this using a realistic technique. He portrays the subjects as if they're real. But Tooker also skews the perspective for how viewers see the overall scene. It reminds me of Kafka's book Metamorphosis, about life as a cockroach. We seem to check out this scene from a position on the floor, as if we're Kafka's roach. In the story, a man adjusts to life as an insect. Viewing Government Bureau also feels like an adjustment. We're not accustomed to scenes from a floor-bound point of view. This angle gives us an outsider perspective, so the human figures seem like sad aliens. Then the meaning of the painting kicks in from there. We're the sad aliens. That's us in the Government Bureau, dressed alike, 
waiting in line, and miserable. It's only because the artist Tooker gave us his fresh pest perspective that we're able to see how wretched our existence is. It's ironic that realizing how meaningless life can be serves as the underlying point of this painting. Tooker studied literature at Harvard before he pursued life as a painter. We can deduce from this masterpiece that he read his share of Kafka before picking up a paintbrush. Government Bureau, FAQs. What is George Tooker known for? An esteemed and award-winning American painter, George Tooker is known for combining realism with juxtapositions and varying points of view. His works sometimes feel magical. Other Tooker paintings create an unnerving sense of unreality or even angst. He's also known for social commentary within his artworks. His figurative paintings provide deep emotional resonance through tonality and point of view, rather than with expressions on faces. The masterpiece, Government Bureau, sets a perfect example of this in action. What is existential art? Existential art maintains the themes and subject matter of existential philosophy. These include the struggle of self-determination and the banality of everyday life. Existentialism often points to humanity as lacking in true individualism or poignancy. Many artists have created works with this ideological message. Examples include George Tooker, Francis Bacon, and Paul Cezanne. Masterpieces are written and recorded by Lady K Flow. If you like this podcast and want to hear more like it, the greatest compliment you can give is to tell a friend. And subscribe to Lady Kayflow on Apple, Google, Stitcher, or wherever you listen to podcasts. Thanks. Visit LadyKFlo.com for all the goods. That's L-A-D-Y-K-F-L-O dot com.